Europe's first clinic to treat victims of female genital mutilation has opened its doors in the German capital. The clinic seeks to help victims who suffer from physical and psychological trauma. The first patient to be treated at the center shared her own experiences. Uh, I don't remember so much uh, when it happened. Uh, I had with three girls, uh, two bigger, yeah, and they make first to them. And I was standing and watching on the corner. I remember a little when the girl, she is bleeding. Uh, after they make them sleep, come to me and they want to catch me. I run, I'm little and I run, they catch me. After that, I don't remember. No pain, I don't know, I'm faint or I don't know what happened. I don't remember nothing. It's crazy. Somali model and human rights campaigner Waris Deary, who co-founded the Desert Flower Foundation, which seeks to end female genital mutilation, stressed the importance of ending the damaging practice. We marry all mutilated women and it, there's nothing, there's no joy. We just, we watch these women suffer. We suffer when we make love. We, they suffer when they're giving birth. They suffer when for all this, and it's like, I don't understand where in the name of God whoever made this up was the most cruel human being I could, could exist in the planet. But the worst part is, in such a day, this is still goes on. The head surgeon at the clinic said that both experts and public figures are key elements in such controversial campaigns. And so it is very good to combine these two things, uh, making awareness, but also a real and very pragmatic way to help. And this was maybe the lack in the past, because very Boris Deal was uh, doing a lot on the political issues, but they had no real medical partner, a fixed partner center, so uh, this is a very good project to make a, a real, uh, very concrete help for these uh, women. According to the World Health Organization, around 140 million girls and women have been victims of genital mutilation, sometimes referred to as female circumcision. Cases largely take place in Muslim countries across Africa, Asia and the Middle East, with many going unreported in countries with Islamic law, since the practice is rooted not only in religion, but also in the culture. The United Nations Assembly is currently working on a resolution urging countries to ban female genital mutilation, which leaves victims with physical and psychological damage.